All right, special thanks to the Central Catholic cheerleaders. New for this year, make sure you download our WTOL app. That is where you will find all of our live scoring from all the games in our area on Friday nights. It's very easy to do. And of course, it's free wherever you download your apps. Let's get back to the games. Springfield looking to bounce back from a tough loss last week. Tough test at Sandusky. Blue streaks on offense. Samarin Gordon, the handoff to Terion Stewart. He shows why he's going to go to BGSU. The future Falcon would run it right through the Blue Devils defense, just shrugging off defenders. He gets in for the score. And then later, Gordon does it himself this time. Fake handoff, goes right up the middle. He would waltz into the end zone for the touchdown. Sandusky would go on to win it big, 55-27. Perkins making the trip over to Maumee tonight. Both of these teams searching for win number one. We begin with Perkins. Christopher Campbell, the handoff to Ty Carter. He punched it in from five yards out. Maumee's defense, though, stepping it up. You got to stick with me on this play, okay? Christopher Campbell, the pass to the end zone. The Panthers' Jalen McCoy would pick it off. He would take it almost all the way back the other way for a touchdown. But he would lose the ball. One of his teammates would pick it up. The Panthers would score. But unfortunately, they lose a heartbreaker in overtime. I say that's my alma mater. They lose 42 to 35. A couple of Wood County rivals here. Eastwood taking on Bowling Green. Almost everyone pumped up on the Eastwood side, except the guy in the red shirt, and I don't know why. Second quarter, scoreless game. Pitch out to Nick Foster. He's around the edge. Gets a couple blocks, and he is off to the races. No one going to catch him. Takes it 70 yards to the crib. That's what the kids say, crib. Bobcats, 7 0 lead. But the Eagles would come right back after a big kickoff return, quick strike, Jared McNulty to the future Toledo Rocket, J.D. Rayford over the middle for the score. Eastwood wins it 49 to 14. Liberty Center and Napoleon separated by just a 10 mile stretch of US 24. Both teams won their openers and the Wildcat fans were energized for this one, but it was the Tigers offense who brought the power. Camden Crew hands off behind a wall of blockers and it's anyone's guess who has the ball because our cameraman Zach lost it. Suddenly, Max Phillips emerges from the pack, takes it all the way down the sideline for the Tiger touchdown. Liberty Center sticking with the ground game here. Phillips gets it again, turns it into another six. Tigers in control the whole time. They win it 26 to seven. 100th battle for the Celestial Bowl Trophy. Great rivalry here, Genoa and Oak Harbor. They had a huge ceremony pregame honoring the rivalry. Players dating back all the way to the 1940s in attendance. A really cool scene. Rockets started early. Jack Alexander rolling right, fires a pass to Tyler May, who holds it in, and he would get in for the Rockets score. They have a 7-0 lead. And again, this time it's Alexander, this time using his feet, though. Finds some space up the left side, and he would go all the way in, untouched for the touchdown. Oak Harbor wins it 49-14. to Good non-league matchup here. Liberty Benton got to take on Archbold. Streaks coming out through that smoke, I love it. Blue Streaks making this thing happen through the air early. Brandon Taylor drops back, hits Antonio Cruz on the outside shoulder where only he can get it. Archbold would score first. A few drives later, it's Taylor to Cruz again. This time he would hit him in the flats. No one brings him down and he gets into the end zone again. Archbold comes out on top in this one, 34 to 20. Wayne Trace always good. They were in Hamler tonight. They are defending NWOAL champs from Patrick Henry. Patriots leading 27-6 and they would add to it. TJ Ramey. Airs it out to a wide open Colton Holloway. He would haul it in. That would extend the pH lead to 34 to 6. And then later they do it on the ground. Ramey the handoff to Cade DeLong, who finds space out to the right. He'd march into the end zone. Patrick Henry wins it 48 to 20. All right, we're taking another break here on Big Board Friday. We still got more to get to, though. Up next, we've got the Lemoyne Road rivalry. Lake making the short trip over to Northwood. We've got that coverage coming up next on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday.